and friends will be off to new adventures you will see Off to the center of the earth or the bottom of the sea so come with me To the center of the earth where life has started first so many things for us to learn Solve the major mysteries that lie so deep within our precious world bottom of the sea, we're down so many leaves, just to find the proof we need, and the center of the earth, the center of the earth. Travel is what we like to do, our adventures old and new, they keep us strong. Why don't you help us set our sails? We'll discover many trails, so come along. We got Don and Tico too. With Ronnie and new friends for you. Join me along with all my friends on a trip that never ends to many places old and new. To the center of the earth, where life is started first. So many things for us to learn Solve the major mysteries That lie so deep within our precious world Episode 3, A Silent Guide. Six days have passed since we left London and started our journey to the centre of the earth. Monsieur Sullivan, with whom my master has a wager of £20,000, has sent his accomplice transfer to stop us from reaching our destination. If it were not for Monsieur Fogg, he would have succeeded already. We reached Hamburg, where we boarded a ship called Eleanor that would take us safely to Copenhagen. At least, that is what we thought. Meanwhile, back in London, at the Reform Club, our friends were convinced that our journey would be a success. Only Mr. Sullivan thought otherwise. Some fools still think that Fogg will succeed and they're willing to bet their money on him. So that when our Mr. Fogg eventually fails, I shall be a millionaire. <laughs> I wouldn't be too sure of that if I were you. Mr. Fogg shows courage and resourcefulness and has always succeeded. And he's taken Professor Little Rock with him, who will be of enormous help. He's an experienced geologist, you know. Rubbish. Fogg has made a bet he cannot possibly win. No one can get to the center of the earth, and our precious Mr. Fogg will lose his bet. I've got some good news, gentlemen. I just heard that Mr. Willie Fogg is about to enter Copenhagen on board the SS Eleonora. Good old Fogg. Uh, it's a good well show. Excellent, yes. Yeah. Well, make the most of this little victory, my friends. Once transfer gets to work, Willie Fogg and his friends will be finished. My hat, Willy, my hat. Don't worry, Princess. I'll go and get it back for you straight away. Good day, sir. Is this your hat? And a good day to you, sir. Not my hat exactly. It belongs to my wife. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Fogg! Mr. Fogg! It sounds like someone is calling you, Mr. Fogg. Goodbye. When the time is right, Willie Fogg, I shall deal with you. <laughs> I'll be right down, Professor. What? I said I'll be right down. Oh, my hat. Thank you, Willie. Well, come along, you two. We have to find our ship that will take us all the way to Reykjavik. And we must hurry. Oh no, mon dieu, this is crazy. A journey to the center of the earth. Hey, come on, Arigaton, don't I get a cold feet? If Mr. Foggy, you talking like that, he gonna leave us behind, and then we miss all of the excitement. But Tico, you heard Mr. Fogg say before. 
We are going on a long and very dangerous journey to Iceland. Don't you worry, gentlemen. Our ship, the Valkyrie, is fast and very safe. Huh? Did I hear you gentlemen correctly? Did I hear you say you were on your way to Iceland? Well now, so are we. We want to... Travel to Iceland in a hurry. Well, I think I can help you there. You can help us, monsieur? Of course. I am the helmsman of the good ship Valkyrie, bound for Iceland. Now follow me, and I'll introduce you to my captain. Are you all travelling together? You better believe it, mister. We always are sticking together. Ah, oh, Mr. Fogg, it would seem that our transport problems are solved. That's right, Mr. Fogg. This fellow assures me the Valkyrie is a very fast and safe ship. Take us to your captain right away. Uh, come on, Rigadon. Well, let's go and have a look at this ship that will take us to Reykjavik. When do you plan to set sail? It's just that we are in rather a hurry, Captain. My colleague is right. We are in a great hurry. You are sure this vessel can get us to Reykjavik quickly, Captain? Yes? Mm -hmm. You are on the fastest vessel in all of Copenhagen, gentlemen. And when we run the foresail and the topsail together, you will see that this ship goes faster than the wind itself. Mark my words, there's no faster way to Reykjavik. Well, that's the top gallant ready. What do you mean a top gallant? What are you talking about? And a gaff? Ah, come on. You're joking. I wish I hadn't climbed up so high, though. Hey, Rigadan, let me get down from here, huh? Huh? Hey, Tico, you got a good view up there? I really had no idea you were fond of the eye places. No, I hate it when I get down, you fool! Now get me down! Catch hold of this ladder, Tico, and follow me. There's no need to be scared, okay? Huh, scared? I travel all over the world, from New York to Singapore. You think I'm gonna be scared by a little bit of a rope ladder? Now let's get going, my friend, okay? Good, you're doing fine there, Tico. Just remember, you must not look down. If you look down from such a great height, it will only make you dizzy. Okay, my friend? Eh, what you say, Rigadan? Dizzy from heights? I could get a dizzy from heights if I look down. Dizzy from... Oh, oh, that's a dirty rotten trick, Rigadan. Oh, oh, I'm so dizzy. This is worse than a floating in a barrel. I think I'm gonna fall. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! I didn't want to get down this quickly. Oh, I can't look. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, ah. oh talk about the clothes. It's a good job for me, Rigadon. You have got such a big head. You are safe this time, Tico. But be careful in future. You know we still have a long way to go. <laughs> you see? We still have to get the cargo on board, but once we've done that, we should be able to set sail for Iceland in about five hours' time. That doesn't leave any of us very much time for visiting such a beautiful city as Copenhagen. Don't worry, my helmsman will take you to the best place to see everything. The observation point at the Kirk Belfry. That's wonderful, unless it... Well, I hope that it won't contribute to the further delay in the sailing of this ship. You needn't worry about that, Professor Lindbrock. Rigodon will stay here and sort out our luggage. Would you like to come? I should much prefer to stay here and read that book on Iceland you gave me. After all, that's where I shall have to wait for you until you get back from your expedition. I suppose that must be the Kirk Belfry ahead of us. From the look of it, I would say that the view of Copenhagen from the top must be very wonderful indeed. What do you think, Professor? I am sure of it, Mr. Fogg, but just wait until we climb up Mount Sneffels. The view that can be seen from the top of its crater will be incomparable. You didn't tell me you were going to the Sneffels volcano, my little friend. What on earth are you going to go there for? They want to go inside it. Inside a volcano? You say they want to go inside a volcano? Oh, they must be crazy. Lead done, Mr. Fogg. Hmm? Hmm. Mr. Fogg, is something wrong? Hmm. No, no, it's all right, Professor Lidenbrock. I'll be right with you. Excellent. They're walking straight into my trap. <laughs> you won't get away this time, will you, Fogg? Hmm? 
I'm afraid the door is locked, my friends. That's a pity, because the captain really wanted you to see the view. Perhaps I could go and find the key. Mr Fogg? Please don't worry about it. The Valkyrie will be sailing soon anyway, so we really should get back to port. It's a real shame, because I can assure you that the view from the top of this belfry is every bit as good as the view from the top of the Snapples Volcano, Professor. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, good morning, madam. Perhaps I could help you, gentlemen. I am in charge of looking after the belfry. Uh, oh. Hey, what's the matter with you? Calm down, boy, calm down. We are going to be leaving soon anyway. Take it easy. We came here to see the view of the city, madam, but we appear to have been locked out. Mm. Ah. Hey, come on, what are you doing? Uh, leave me alone. Let us go up quickly, my friends. There's no time to lose. Please take as long as you like, gentlemen. Now in you go. <laughs> we won't be long, madam. Now then, where has Tico got to? Tico, where are you? Tico, this is no time to play with geeks. Come along with us now. We've all been waiting for you. Come on. Hey, I'm not a playing with this goose, Mr. Fogg. Believe me. Oh, look at Mr. Goose. Why don't you fly home, huh? OK, OK. No need to get excited. Ah! Oh, my mama told me not to talk to strangers, especially strange geese. Why don't you go up, sir? I'll wait for you here. Thank you, madam. Come along, Tico. Hurry up now. <laughs> Even the resourceful Mr. Fogg won't be able to escape from here. He'll miss his boat, Mr. Sullivan will win his bets, and I shall be rich! Hmm. All of the luggage is safely packed, Princess. Hmm. Thank you, Rigodon. Could you tell me, Captain, how long it'll be before we have to set sail? Hmm. We shall sail in about two hours. Are your husband and the professor back? No. Perhaps we should go and look for them, Captain. After all, they don't know the area and they may have been delayed by something. There is no need to worry, Princess. They have a good guide with them. Right, Captain? Hmm. That looks like our ship down there. It is. It's the Valkyrie. And it looks like she's getting ready to sail, Professor. Well, I can't see anything, Mr. Fogg. It doesn't look that good at all. Here. Oh, there's something else don't look too good. And that's our trip to Iceland. We'll never make it to the boat now, Mr. Fogg. We've been locked in. Locked in? I'm afraid Tico's right, sir. We've been locked in, and the door is much too strong for us to force open. If the boat sails without us, it will be disastrous. We must reach Iceland by the beginning of July in order to see the sun's shadow on Scartaris. Yes, you are right, Professor. We have to know where the shadow falls so we can locate the entrance to the centre of the Earth. Yes! <laughs> can you get it open, Mr. Fogg? It's well and truly locked, I'm afraid, Professor. And to tell the truth, getting out of here isn't going to be easy. Hmm. The windows are too high, and even if they weren't, they're too small for us to get through. Ooh. Don't worry, gentlemen. Tico and I will have you out of here before you can say, Way anchor! Right, Shorty? That's right. We get you out, although I don't know how we do it. You'll see in just a moment, Tico. And now, Mr. Fogg, if you'll let me borrow your type in for a moment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we made it! We won't be long! I wish I had Rigodon's hat. Oh, no! You go first. If I go first, then I break my leg first. Okay, Tico, we'll go together. Hmm? Are you all right? Can you hear me out there, you two? Yes, thank you, Mr. Fogg. We're fine. <laughs> Come on, Shorty, get up. I've got to get on your back. Climb on. I'm getting used to suffering for you. <laughs> What's going on here, and exactly who are you, madam? That's for me to know and you to find ah. out, Mr. Uh, Willie Fogg. Ah. 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 Uh -huh. Just who are you? What do you want with us? I don't think that you're a woman at all. Who sent you? 
We shall meet again, Money uh, Fog, and when we do, I shall get you. Uh, but now, take a parting gift from me. Uh, uh, it's okay, Mr. Goose. Hey, maybe next time we both gonna go for a swim, the water not gonna be so dirty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you men, hoist up the mainsail. We got a strong southeasterly tailwind for Iceland, so get ready to weigh anchor and man your stations. Aye, aye, Captain. <sighs> Here we go, Mr. Fogg. The good ship Valkyrie will soon be in full sail and heading for Sneffels on time. And we won't have been delayed for a single minute. I know that you first heard about our trip to Sneffels owing to Tico being quite indiscreet. Perhaps, then, you are also aware of the ultimate objective of our expedition. It's obvious. You want to build a library in the centre of the Earth for Professor Lidenbrock. I think that Tico may have got things a little bit confused. Perhaps you should explain the situation a little more fully to our friend. It's imperative that no one should know where we're going or what we're up to. We've already been attacked twice, and it would be optimistic, to say the least, to think that they won't try again. Who is it, Willie? Well... Who do you think would gain most by us failing in our mission and would stop at nothing to throw obstacles in our path at every turn? Romy? Of course, it's Sullivan and Transfer, isn't it, Willie? Yes, yes, it must be. The same two that gave us such a lot of trouble on our journey around the world in 80 days. Well, I don't know who Sullivan and Transfer are, but I can assure you that you will have no problems while you're on board this ship. We're carrying a cargo of wheat and woolen clothing to Reykjavik. Apart from your party, there are only five crew members, so there's no possibility of your being attacked here. Uh -uh. That's right, Willie. And if they're not on board, they couldn't possibly follow us to Iceland. We shall take precautions in any case. We simply cannot afford to lose our scientific instruments. They are vital to the success of our expedition. Tico! Hey, Tico! Hey, Rigadon, what are you doing down there, you great big idiot? If Mr. Fogg find out you've gone and left the attaché case all on its own... <sighs> but, Tico, I just went to buy some sweeties for the trip. Just look what a big bag I got. What for? Because I know you know got a sweet tooth. You crazy! But these are for you, mon ami. You've had a bad day. Oh, thank you, Rigadon. Well, goodbye, dear Copenhagen. Now, Rigadon, I thought I told you to stay below and look after the case. And as for you, Tico, you can look after all these ropes, for we shall need them when we land, you know? In Reykjavik. Huh? Oh. Hey, Rigadon, what's the matter with him? He's giving more orders than the captain. How long will the crossing to Reykjavik take us, Captain? Oh, about ten days if we don't run into any strong headwinds outside the Faroe Islands. So we shall reach Reykjavik on the 15th of June, on exactly the day that we wanted to. Well, carry on then, Captain. Hmm. I'll hide down here. Oh, mon dieu, I feel so sick. I think it is a mistake to stay inside this cabin looking after Professor Liedenbrock's valuable scientific instruments. I wish I was still on the deck in the fresh air with Tico. <laughs> you poor fool. Transfer will make sure you and your friends never get to the center of the Earth. Hey, it's all right, Rigadon. Don't worry. Tico's are coming. Oh. The least I can do is help you through your seasickness after you bought me all of those sweets. What sweets? You are crazy, Tico. And please, please, don't mention food. But those sweets that you bought me. Mon dieu, I didn't buy you any sweets, Tico. You're crazy. So it's not enough you gotta be seasick, but you're gonna go stuck a raving mad too, huh? Yeah, yeah, that stupid bucket. I should have my own cabin, not be stuck inside a broom cupboard. Whoa. Hey, come on, Rigadon, you're just a bit seasick. I'm sure you're gonna be fine when we reach the open sea. Oh, mon dieu, we still have to cross the terrible North Sea. Terrible North Sea, nothing. You just wait. It's gonna be as calm as a mill pond, and we're gonna have nothing but the sunshine all of the way.
This is a pretty rough mill pond. What do you say? Ooh. Hey, maybe you should go downstairs, Rigadon. It's gonna be dry down there. <laughs> no. No. Oh. We have made good progress these last few days, Mr. Fogg. We will soon be in Reykjavik, where my good friend Fridriksen will be waiting for us. Well, it's half past seven on the 15th of June. So, that means 59 days. Well, we can leave as soon as the boat docks, Mr. Fogg, and you can rest assured that Professor Fridriksen will have everything ready for us. And ho! We'll reach Reykjavik in three hours' time. Thank you for the book, darling. All the facts about Iceland are fascinating. Well, this is a short trip. We'll be home again soon. And when you get back, I shall know as much about this island as you do about the center of the Earth. Hello, Lindenbrock, you old rascal. How was your journey, all right? Hello, Fridrikson. Nice to see you after all this time. Well, goodbye, my friend, and good luck. It's been a real pleasure to have you aboard. The pleasure's been all mine. Good luck to you, Captain. <laughs> Your hat, Rigadon. Yes, sir? It's not straight. Ah. Uh, ooh. Welcome to Iceland. How wonderful to have you here, my friends. Everything is ready so you can continue your journey. Huh? Your guide, Hans, has gone to fetch the horses. Go and lend a hand, would you? Well, I, uh... <laughs> you old <laughs> rascal! You look after yourself when you're climbing about in the rigging, eh? And remember Tico. Tico, Rigodon, hurry along now. I think Mr. Fogg is calling us, Tico. My dear princess, I have arranged for you to stay at my house until your husband returns. Now then, you can leave as soon as you wish, although it's almost 10 o'clock in the evening. Hey, just a minute. Hmm? How can it be 10 o'clock? It's still daylight. You see? In June and July, there is no night. Oh, is that so? So that means that we have to stay awake for two whole months uh, until they get back. Is that right? Yes, we're at parallel 75. You'll have to get used to this daylight. Here it lasts for, yes, two months. So you're back, my friend. Back? Oh, yes, indeed, sir. I should certainly prefer it if we were to go back, especially if we were to go back to London. Hmm? Hello, Hans. Aha! This is Hans, your guide. He doesn't say much, but he's very strong, and I'm sure that he will do a good job for you, my friends. Pleased to meet you, Hans. I'm sure that you will be a great asset to us. Allow me to introduce you to Professor Lidenbrock. You are lucky enough to have the privilege of taking part in a unique scientific expedition, my good friend. Mon dieu, that's true. It's certainly going to be unique. <clears throat> my wage will be three Rick stars a week. That's agreed, then. Now let's get going. Don't worry, Mr. Fogg. I look after the princess. And you, Rigadon, look after Mr. Fogg. You hear me? I hear you. And so the race is on. As our adventure continues, we meet danger after danger. Oh, mon dieu! It seems that even our close friends cannot be trusted. As we get closer to the Sneffels volcano, it feels like everything around us is trying to stop the journey to the center of the Earth. I only hope we make it, mon ami.